Okay guys, here we are again, another little tutorial using trout. This time with the trout, um, what we'll do with this is we're going to make this into a trout tartare. The first thing we want to do is, this trout's still got the skin on, okay? That's a bit of belly that I cut off, we want to keep that as well. So the first thing we want to do, we want to skin it, okay? So the easiest way to skin it is, uh, let me see. Get a wee bit of salt into your fingers, okay, and that way it makes it easier to hold the trout for it. Slide your knife at an angle, okay, and then just gently saw back and forward, pulling the skin towards you, like that, okay, and that takes the skin off like that, alright, so we want to just discard that. We could keep it and dry it, but in this occasion I think we're just going to discard it, okay. So there's our lovely trout fillet. So next thing we want to do is you'll see there's a brown membrane on the outside here. Okay, in the flesh, you just want to gently go in and just take some of that off. Yeah, it just detracts from the colour of the uh, tartar. Once we've done that, what we want to do is we want to cut it into small pieces, okay? So we're just doing that. So now what we want to do is cut this into nice wee strips, nice and thin. Okay. And then cut it into a small dice. There we are, nice and finely chopped, beautiful, okay? Now well, I've done that, this is about the belly that I kept, okay? We just want to skin that if we can as best. Okay. It'll be quite difficult because it's kind of a bit thin. And I like to add a bit of the belly in because it's got a higher fat content and that's where a lot of the flavour is, okay? So again, just cut it into manageable strips. Like that, okay. and like that. And we're just going to dice that nice and small again. This is similar to the idea of a steak tartar. We're just replacing the steak with trout. Once we've got that diced up like that, we just get this a wee mix together, make sure it's well mixed, okay. And then just go stick that in a wee bowl just now. Okay. And we're just going to put over it the lightest shaking of salt and mix it through, okay. Just a very, very light shake of salt, like that, okay, and just mix that through, okay. Now that I'm going to stick in the fridge, just now, uh, and chill it, and then I'm going to do the next stage and show you what to do. Okay guys, now, that's the trout spoon in the fridge, it's been chilled for about half an hour, so what I need to do is add the rest of the ingredients to it. So, what I have, is I have some nicely chopped gherkins and small capers some very finely diced onion and fresh parsley from the garden I have some garlic chives and normal chives from the garden um, a bit of lemon some mayonnaise and some seasoning so I just want to add all these into the trout so that's the capers and gherkins, onion and parsley, uh, two types of chives, garlic and plain, okay, 
and I'm going to add in the mayonnaise. Okay. Squeeze the lemon juice. And then just gently mix all that together. As you can see, it's all coming together nicely. Now what I want to do is season it. Now I'm not going to season it with salt, because we've already done salt. So I want to put in some nicely ground pepper. And for a wee bit of a kick, just a bit of uh, smoked paprika. And there like that. Give it another mix round. Okay, that looks beautiful. Okay, so what we're going to do with that next is back into the fridge for a wee while and then we're going to plate it up and I'll let you see that being plated up. Okay, that's the next stage. Okay guys, here's the final stage. Uh, this has been chilling in the fridge and I've made some garnish material up here. Uh, I've got some lovely uh, fennel, uh, lime, a couple of nice decorated flowers from the garden, a couple of wee plum tomatoes, some chai flour, okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this balsamic vinegar dressing so reduction, okay, and we're just going to go in a zigzag across the plate like that. Okay, you see that there? Then we're going to do is we're going to take a, a ring, we're going to set the ring on top there, and we're just going to fill it with the salmon. Sorry, the trout. And the one thing I should say about when you're doing this dish. You must make sure that every stage, everything is scrupulously clean because this is raw, it's not getting cooked. Um, so you must make sure that everything is perfectly clean and hygienic. Okay. So once we put that in there like that, okay. What we're going to do then is we're just going to gently lift that off. Hopefully it comes in the water. Going to garnish it. So you like that. A bit of the uh, fennel, a nice decorative leaf, okay. A wee tomato in the middle, a lime at the end, okay. And what you can do is you can pick the flowers off these chives, okay. But before we do that, we're going to add in one other wee element. And this is a wee vinaigrette I've made with herbs. So I'm just going to add a wee spot of that round about the plate, make sure it doesn't smudge in to the uh, balsamic, okay, like that, then I'm just going to decorate around the plate, just drizzle the wee chai flowers, that gives a lovely wee flavour to the dish as well, a wee hint of colour, okay, so there we have it, tartar of salmon, sorry, tartar of trout, okay, so you can have a try at that, but as I say, the most important thing is hygiene because this is a raw product, it's not going to be cooked. Um, very, very important. Have a try at it, see what you think and see if you enjoy it. It's very nice. Tonight's dinner. Starter. Take care.